Well, hi there, Aquarius. It's Jen with Bohemian Path Tarot. I'm so glad you stopped by. So today I'm doing tarot readings with the Unfolding Path Tarot. If you've been here before, you know sometimes I do tarot and room. Today we're just going to do tarot. Um, and I am going to shuffle this deck just for you, just for your reading. But I'm going to Fast forward through the shuffling. I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see what's coming towards you. The Nine of Wands. The Five of Swords. Okay, the Ten of Cups. It's interesting because both of these cards are about persevering, even in the face of challenge. And this card is delightful, you know, that joy and connections, feeling like a part of a community, feeling like a part of a tribe, feeling safe and connected. Um, connecting with your your loved ones or your um, friends your community let's go back to the nine of wands the nine of wands is uh, typically a card that shows up when you are so close to the end of a challenge or so close to the end of a cycle or um, about ready to launch a new project or a new channel or um, closing out a cycle, like if you're a teacher, kind of the end of the school year kind of a thing. It's being really close to the finish line, um, but not being quite there yet and having to hold the line, having to keep digging really deep to find that energy to make it to the finish line. Wands are typically about, you know, energy, passionate projects, things that spark you, things that um, turn you on, things that uh, fire you up. So they're sometimes associated with career stuff or at least the career that you love. You know, sometimes you have a day job and then you have the career that you're pursuing, right? This would be the thing that you love, that you want to be the thing that really fires you up, not the thing that just supports you and usually the nine of wands comes up when you've been through it when you've you've already like put a lot of energy into this thing or a lot of emotion a lot of um yourself into getting this to the finish line and you're nearly there this you know this came up for me uh recently when i I wanted to give up on something. I was like, I should probably just, this is, this has been so hard. I should probably just give it up. It's too, it's too hard. If it was for me, it should be easier. And I got this card and I knew, no, nope, this is not the time to give up. This is the time to dig deep. The thing that I want is for me, but it just needs a little more. It needs a little more time. It needs a little more energy. It just needs a little more faith. That's kind of echoed in this five of swords over here, um, which is, you know, kind of that card of maybe losing the battle, but the war is not over. That sounds really violent. And, and I don't want it to sound that violent. That's just a metaphor for the being in that kind of place where something didn't go quite to plan. But because you didn't have the right information, you didn't have the right resources, you didn't have the right philosophy, or you mis mistook something, misinterpreted something, misspoke something, and so things kind of went off kilter or, or didn't quite hit their mark. But it's not over. This card is all about kind of uh, checking your sources 
editing, uh, asking more questions, getting better information, going straight to the source, and getting the, the sort of resources you need to build a better plan to hit your target. Again, that's, it's, it's so war metaphor, but uh, you understand what I'm saying, right? This is especially Mercury retrograde energy. And of course, we're in Mercury retrograde as I record this. Um, but it's that kind of thing in Mer Mercury retrograde where like communication goes haywire um, or something that you thought was done or thought somebody understood wasn't understood or they got it wrong or they only heard part of it. And so you have to revisit a thing or you have to repeat yourself or you have to go back to scratch or you have to rebuild the program because, you know, you didn't save it in your computer or whatever it is. It's that kind of a you need to go back one step, fix something, clarify something, um, get more information about something, and then you can move forward towards success. And here we have it. You know, this is go. This is going somewhere. There is, you know, happiness, contentment, joy, uh, success, connectedness, uh, a feeling of safety and security. Whew. So, Aquarius. Even though these two cards don't feel so great, they're very much encouraging you to keep moving forward, to keep at it. There's one little element, one little piece of information or one little um, program or document or contract or something that you need to revisit, fix, um, put just a little bit more energy into, and then you'll be in the place where you can relax, where you can enjoy your loved ones, where you can feel safe and secure and I hope that's helpful, Aquarius. I hope um, you know where that resonates in your life. I hope it gives you hope and clarity in any case. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take good care.